Hello. This is a simple installation guide for the Mod.io Mod Networker by Not 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 Swipes. This mod lets you download mods in-game in real time, along with giving you the option to automatically download mods other players have in Fusion. This mod works on both PC and Quest and is cross-compatible as well. So if a Quest user spawns in any item, the PC player will see that same item and it will function exactly the same. This mod does require Bone Lab Fusion, and this tutorial will be under the impression that you already have Bone Lab Fusion set up and installed on either your PC or Oculus Quest. If you do not have Fusion installed, then click the first link in the description for installing Fusion on a PC, or the second link in the description for installing Fusion on a Quest. Even if you're only planning on using this as a mod manager, you will need Fusion on your Quest or the mod will not function. Don't worry though, because you can just install Fusion on your Quest and not even use Fusion Helper and the mod will still work as a mod manager if that's all you want it for. And one more thing before we start, it is recommended that you clear out your mods folder before using the networker, as it may cause issues auto-downloading for other players if the mod isn't tracked via installation by the networker. With all of those things out of the way, we can finally start the tutorial. First things first, click the third link in the description and you'll be taken to the Thunderstore page for the Mod.io mod networker. Click on manual download and save it somewhere you'll remember. Once it's downloaded, open up the zip folder and extract mods and plugins somewhere else you'll remember. In this case, I'm just going to put it on my desktop for ease of use. If you're installing this on a PC, open your Bone Lab mod directory and drag and drop mods and plugins right where the mods and plugins for all your other mods are and everything will go in the spot it needs to go in. On Quest, I'm going to be using SideQuest to show this off. You're going to click this icon on the top right of SideQuest, go down to Android, Data, com.stresslevel0.bonelab, Files, and drag and drop Mods and Plugins right on top of here, and it will put everything in its proper spot. Next, on your PC or Quest, launch BoneLab. Once Bone Lab fully loads up, then you may close Bone Lab. Back on your PC, click the fourth link in the description and you'll be taken to the mod.io website. From here, you're going to need to log in. Down here, there'll be a little account button. You can log in or make an account if you don't already have one. But once you're fully signed in, go ahead and click on your account. Go to access. And here, we're going to need to accept the terms. For you, it will say accept terms. Go ahead and click that and accept everything prompted. Once here, you may need to make a new OAuth access, which can be done very easily by just clicking create, and naming it whatever you want. And once you have one, you'll need to make a token. You can name the token anything. In this case, I'm gonna name it tutorial. Just ensure that it has read and write access. Then click this little plus icon and it will create your token. Click this little copy button to copy your token. After copying it, please be aware that if you leave this page and lose your token, you will need to create a new token, as there is no way to view previously created tokens after reloading this page. Now, back to where your Bone Lab mod directory is, you'll have a new folder titled Mod.io Mod Networker on the root of it. Open that folder, and there's two files here called auth.txt and blacklist.txt. Go ahead and open auth.txt and you'll be greeted with this little notepad file explaining how to do it, but I'm just going to show you what you need to do. Now that you have your token copied, where it says auth token equals, go ahead and replace that with your token. You can do this by just pasting what you copied before. Yours will be a lot larger than this, but for me, I'm just doing a demonstration so it's not as large. What you're going to do is then you're going to click file and then you're going to click save, and that will keep your token saved here. Back on your quest, we're going to head back to your Bone Lab directory. If you don't know where that is, it's in Android, data, com.stresslevel0.bonelab, files, and here it is. Once you've launched the game one time after installing Mod.io Mod Networker, you'll have this new folder. Go ahead and click it, and you'll have auth.txt and blacklist.txt. I'm going to click the save icon over here next to auth.txt and save it to my desktop. Open up the auth.txt with notepad and here you'll be greeted with this little text file where it says auth token equals go ahead and 
get rid of the replace with your token or whatever the message is, and paste in your token you copied earlier. Yours will be a lot larger than this, but I'm just doing a demonstration, so it's way smaller. But once you've put your token here, go ahead and up in the top left, click File, and Save. After saving it, we're going to put your auth.txt back into SideQuest. So I'm just going to drag and drop the new one on top of the old one, and it will replace that one with the one we just updated. Now when you boot up Bone Lab, the mod will be fully installed, but there's just one more thing I'd like to make apparent before you go. To access the mod, hold down your menu button, go to Preferences, go down to Bone Menu, and select Mod.io Mod Networker. Now, if you go to the trending page, and this is blank, it means you installed your auth.txt incorrectly, you did something wrong regarding your auth token. If this is showing up as correctly, then you've done it properly. What I recommend you do is you go to the settings wheel by clicking the wrench, and you enable auto-delete lobby mods. This is super, super, super useful if you're on Quest, as you can easily fill up your storage, especially if you only have 64 gigabytes. But other than that, I recommend you check everything here, turn this to the max it can go, turn this to the max you can go, and if you want to, turn on that last option. To download a mod, all you need to do is select it, and click on subscribe and it will start downloading at the top here to delete a mod go ahead and select the mod you want to get rid of and click unsubscribe or subscribe again and it will unsubscribe you and uninstall the mod and you can always reinstall it by subscribing you can also blacklist mods you don't want to download for example if you don't want to download a vfx remover so if you want your body log to keep its thing and somebody's using this mod you can click it and you can have it blacklisted, so the Mod.io Mod Networker will not automatically install it. It is also recommended that you do not install Labworks using the Networker. Instead, you should manually install Labworks and blacklist it to ensure it doesn't try to automatically download it if you already have it. That is everything you need to know regarding the Networker. Now go ahead and use it in public lobbies and go have fun.